Namaste, my name is Dr. Ram Babu. I am the senior consultant in the Department of ENT and Cochlear Implant Surgeries, Apollo Hospitals, Jubilee Hills branch in Hyderabad. Today we are going to talk about an interesting and a common uh, ailment of the ear which is called as otitis media. What is otitis media? Otitis media simply means it is an infection in the middle ear. If you if I want to elaborate, we have three parts of the ear. One is called as the external ear, one is called as middle ear and the deeper part is called as the inner ear. Today we are going to talk about the middle ear and infections in the middle ear. What is it is called as otitis media. What is the most common cause of the otitis media? Middle ear is connected into the nose through a small tube which is called as the eustachian tube. 80% of the infections in the middle ear come through this connection through the nose. That means whenever a patient or a child or an adult has cold, there is every chance that infection can go into the middle ear and give rise to infection. There are some other causes also for the infection to come into the middle ear. Like uh, from the outside through the external ear, if there is any damage in the eardrum by any accident or by any foreign body or by pricking accidentally if tears then infection can go into the middle ear. The other route is if there are any injuries that is fractures or skull injuries or head injuries wherein infection can go directly into the middle ear and sometimes uh, there are infections in the elsewhere in the body and uh, they get uh, transferred into the middle ear through blood. So, there are a couple of uh, reasons like this uh, where the infection can go into the uh, middle ear. What are the risk factors of the otitis media? Otitis media, I told you this is the infection in the middle ear. Middle ear does many works, many functions. One is the hearing. So, hearing can get affected immediately whenever there is an infection. There are other important structures in the middle ear like uh, there is a balance organ which starts in the middle ear. So, they can have a balance uh, problems also like giddiness, vertigo and there are other important structures like uh, nerves which can go out of function. One is the facial nerve which is uh, runs through the middle ear. Whenever there is an infection, it can get affected and there could be a facial nerve uh, paralysis that is weakness of the one side of the face on which side there is a infection in the middle ear that is otitis media. How is otitis media is diagnosed? Otitis media can be diagnosed very easily. One is the patient will be having a pain which is called as the otalgia, very severe pain they will be having that is the number one and uh, there will be dampening of the hearing that is a loss of hearing will be there. And uh, as I told you, there could be a balance disorder that is uh, giddiness they can feel. And uh, sometimes uh, there is a ringing sensation which is called as tinnitus, which is also due to infection in the middle ear. What are the stages of the middle ear infection? So, usually we describe it in four stages. The first stage is very early stage where they feel congested in their ear and some sort of a dullness and blocked feeling. The second stage is they will have mild pain when the infection is getting started. The third stage is the intense uh, inflammation that is the infection stage where they will have severe pain, sometimes giddiness also can be accompanying. And the fourth stage is when the infection is increased, the infection has to be let out that is uh, the eardrum punctures and uh, the infection that is the pus or the purulent material uh, comes out through the ear canal that will be the fourth stage and they will be having more complications like severe pain sometimes fever and uh, some bodily affecting complaints also along with the otitis media. Can otitis media heal on its own? Yeah, there is every possibility that otitis media infection if it is mild enough it can heal as we discussed the infection comes into the ear through the nose that is mild cold also sometimes uh, the connection between the ear and the nose gets blocked by simple uh, like a travel uh, through uh, guard roads or travel by air 
or uh, scuba diving or whenever the pressure differences come, there is a blockage of this connection and uh, there is a otitis media or infection in the middle ear sets in. Whenever the primary cause that is the initiating cause is removed, uh, then the infection also will settle down. We can say that up to around 40 to 50 percent of the cases can settle down on their own uh, when the cause is a very, uh, very small one and a short uh, one, it can get cured on its own. Can otitis media cause complete deafness? Uh, it's a very good question and uh, otitis media can cause complete deafness sometimes. Though the percentage is very less uh, because the amount of the infection uh, when it is severe or the toxicity of the infection is severe, the infection get into the inner ear from the middle ear into the inner ear and inner ear uh, can get damaged and usually inner ear infections are irreversible. So sometimes we see that one attack of otitis media can lead to complete deafness also, though it is very rare, it can still happen. What is the treatment of otitis media in adults and children? So first we will deal with the children because otitis media is more common in children, uh, right from infants that is the newborn babies to very small children also, the otitis media can come. Usually it presents as a very uh, acute and uh, uh, very uh, like disabling type of uh, complaint because child will start crying and uh, many times it's very difficult to pinpoint where is the problem. Very commonly it is the infection in the middle ear which causes severe pain. So in children and infants uh, the treatment would be like uh, attending to the pain first by giving uh, simple painkillers. And uh, we have to uh, make their position, like a head up position we have to make. Usually when they were lying down flat on the ground, usually the infection uh, and the intensity of the infection increases. So we have to reduce that, putting them in an angled position, that, that is head up position. And we have to treat the cold by giving uh, nasal decongestants by in, in the form of uh, drops or uh, syrup or some tablets if they are older children, by reducing the nasal congestion, the infection can, can be controlled. And sometimes uh, they need antibiotic course also, whenever the infection is increasing or the fever is ensuing, we have to give them antibiotics. In the adults also, in the similar way, the root cause should be attended. We have to find out in which route the infection has entered. So we have to attend that. If it is from the nose and the sinus, we have to uh, give proper treatment uh, for the cold, nose, uh, sinusitis problems and uh, reduce the pain by giving uh, painkillers. And uh, many a times it is better to treat them with antibiotics because the long lasting effect of the infections can be resulting in many sequelae like, that is uh, reduced hearing, hearing disabilities or future uh, problems uh, which can lead to perforation of the eardrum. So these things can be addressed by attending to the otitis media promptly with uh, pro uh, proper treatment. How is otitis media prevented? As we came to know that uh, the otitis media can come through the nose which is uh, the principal reason that is the any nasal problem that is uh, common cold, viral infections or sinus problems all these problems which can make their way into the middle ear. So these can be attended to and prevented like allergic rhinitis which is a very common uh, um, problem in many people. Children as well as adults uh, should be attended by reducing the allergy uh, exposure and treatment of the allergies. If they have a sinus problem, the problem should be attended by proper antibiotic and uh, uh, the sinus clearing agents like uh, steam inhalations. And uh, any injuries uh, through the external source that is the ear canal should be prevented by not putting any foreign object into the ear like commonly we see earbuds in children probably some foreign bird like a pencil or pens can be uh, they will be handling and those should be at, I mean prevented. Head injuries and some other things probably we, we have to look into that. And any infections in the body where there is a immunocompromised status of the patient should be attended promptly to prevent uh, the infections in the ear. 
So today we learnt a lot about the arthritis media. Arthritis media though it is very common, it can be prevented, it can be cured and we can prevent the sequelae or the complications of the infections in the middle ear. Thank you.